focus of this presentation will be about the Bronfenbrenner's ecological theory compared to the biopsychosocial paradigm and person and environment perspective. Although each is significant in understanding and treating patients, I find the Bronfenbrenner's ecological theory to be the most precise approach by focusing beyond one's personal life. The Bronfenbrenner's ecological theory is the development throughout an individual's life based upon different environmental experiences. This theory emphasizes the belief that we must understand a person's experiences both within and between the various levels of the larger, larger ecological system. In this theory, there are five distinct environmental layers which are embedded into each other and get larger as they branch out. There are different aspects to each system as seen here in the diagram. One being the microsystem, which includes individual, family, peers, school, community, etc. This system has the most direct interaction. This is where the person takes part in what's going on. For example, my mother caring for her mother at home after being diagnosed with cancer. Next is the, is the MISO system, which includes home, school, etc. This is the interaction of the different aspects of the microsystem. If there's trouble with interactions in one microsystem, this can affect other microsystems. An example would be if I, as a child, have trouble with my family life, I might also have trouble with school due to the problems I face at home, as in the health of my grandmother while my mother was caring for her during her battle with cancer. Another being the macro system, which is the culture an individual lives in. It includes their behavior patterns, beliefs, and traditions. This system would be known as the larger sociocultural context. An example would be me trying to heal myself from cancer by natural means because this is how I was raised and it is part of my family beliefs and traditions. The biopsychosocial paradigm conceived by George Engel aimed to understand all aspects that led to the development of specific medical conditions. Engel's main objective was to emphasize the distinct aspects of care for dealing with health, illness, disability, and disease in the larger system of healthcare. The biopsychosocial paradigm approach is that the bio biological, psychological, and sociological dimensions all play equal role in a person's lifestyle and how they process, function, or respond to life experiences. For example, in treating a patient with depression, it is important to examine biological factors like genetics and any predispositions. Important psychological factors to consider would be a patient's coping strategies and decision-making processes, along with sociological factors, as in trauma history, or a lack of community support based on limited opportunities due to imposed barriers. Incorporating these three dimensions is important as they influence one another. The person and environment perspective is viewed as a person's own environment or the surroundings in which they live. It shows how a person is affected by their environment even when not participating in it. This perspective is commonly used in social work and is somewhat similar to the ecological theory as it integrates the micro, meso, and macro level. For example, in the treatment of a patient dealing with trauma, the PI perspective can allow a social worker to use a personal experience to reach out to a patient, assisting them in reevaluating what they perceive. This momentarily allows the patient to be comfortable in that environment and possibly give the social worker a vantage point to understand their perspective. At the same time, this perspective coincides with the psycho and social aspects of the biopsychosocial paradigm. These systems all help to emphasize how important environmental factors are. These theories show that it is important to understand the, the lifespan of an individual and their development. It helps to explain individual interactions and how their lives are affected by other people and events.